All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be using flood penetrol for clear coat patina. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Life and prescribe. Like and subscribe. I don't like the way I talk sometimes. Sometimes I happen to stumble with my words a little bit, but let's just get started. I'm out here again with the 79 Ford, and this is flood penetrol. What it's really for is it's a paint additive. You add it to like your oil oil based paint and it says it reduces brush and roller marks and it improves penetration. Well, that's not how I'm using it. People use this as like a clear coat for the rat rods and things like that. And I'm going for the patina look on this truck and this stuff is literally like $9 a quart or something silly. You just clean it up and you just brush it on there and it dries and it becomes a shiny clear coat. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one of these doors. I gotta get it cleaned up first, but I'll show you how it goes on. All right, this stuff's not super critical as far as prep. You just wanna knock the loose stuff off of it. Like there's some rust coming through a little bit. You just get one of these like little scour pads or whatever. Just go over the whole surface and then wipe off all the dust and stuff. And then you clear coat it and then it should look pretty good. So this is what it looks like now. And I'll clear coat it and you should be able to see a little bit of a difference. Got it all scuffed down for the most part. I'm just gonna knock the dust off of it. Like that. Just real quick. And should be able to clear coat it now. All right, so here's what that stuff looks like. Uh, like I said, it's not super critical, and the best part about it is if you make a mess with it, it's clear, it's not that big of a deal. So let's go ahead and put some of this stuff on there. I personally hate any kind of painting, so I literally just slap it on there. We're just gonna slap it on there and see how it looks. Mm. Just slap it on there. And I've never actually done it with a foam brush before. I think last time I did it, it had like an actual bristle brush, but it don't really matter. But anyway, you just slap it on there. You can see how runny it is. Just smear it in. It works better on the outside because it's kind of porous where this is still got some factory paint on it. But anyway, you just smear it around like that. Slop it on there. Like I said, I don't like the paint, so I slop it on there as fast as I can just to move on to something else. And yes, this door is trash, but It'll work for now. Like I said, I just want to get this thing on the road. Yeah, so I can finally drive it. I've had it for far too long to not be driving it. So as the name of this implies, it's penetrol. So they're, they're, it, it's got to do with penetration. So you really want to slap it on there pretty heavy and allow it to soak into the metal, especially in the rusty spots. But it's just going to soak that stuff up. Just want to let it soak in just like that. If there's any big runs, just slop them off there like that you can see the part that's been done and down here hasn't been yet it's kind of dull but up there it's got some shine to it pretty neat stuff you're probably wondering how long this stuff lasts and honestly i don't have an answer for that but right here it's peeling off this was probably painted about a year ago with the same stuff so it's definitely not a permanent option but if you were to go through every three months or six months or something and recoat it it would probably hold up better i don't honestly know this is my first time actually using it but for what i'm doing it for uh it's in my opinion for the price of it and the ease of install and putting it on i think it's worth using so i got this door all done up now It looks pretty good to me, I reckon. Mm, I like it pretty well. All right, guys, so flood penetrol for patina clear coat. I like it for what it is, and it only costs that much, and it goes a long ways too. It's super easy to recoat for what it is and how cheap it is. I really enjoy using it. So, till next time, 